as of the moment, some of the scorn Emmanuel TV members, followers, and partners are boycotting or turning down their membership role in a very funny manner. They have gradually switched to becoming members and partners of Prophet TB Joshua's spiritual children. Some now prefer to align with the wise men or other known prophets. Although there have not been any direct unsatisfied complaint relating to these as of the moment, but the lovers of the synagogue church of all nations worldwide are not taking this softly. They call this action a big betrayer. They consider this group of people to be betrayers to the legacy of late prophet T.B. Joshua. With a heavy heart, a pastor cried out. He said, if actually you were a follower, a member, or a partner of scorn because of God or Christ in scorn, not because of prophet T.B. Joshua, then you should have empowered your work or connection in scorn as of the moment. Because prophet T.B. Joshua might be absent in the church, but Jesus Christ is still present in the church. For Prophet T.B. Joshua stated, he quotes, I know the healer, I'm not the healer, but Christ is the healer. And this Christ is still living in the church. He emphasized that Jesus Christ never dies. He is alive. He said, if we actually love Prophet T.B. Joshua, we should love his wife and children the same way. And in conclusion, he added, this is the time that scorn needs our major support. And also to those who are boycotting with the stand that we will see how this church will survive. He made this declaration with a huge faith, for the scorn will grow the more. So I'm putting up to you, if you have pulled up from partnering with the scorn, you have betrayed prophet Timothy and you have failed God. You see, your faith must be tested in a real situation. That means your faith was not genuine. It was a high service. That was hypocrisy. Because now you would have rallied around the wife, the church and the children knowing that, yes, the man you say you were loyal to, the man you love, has people around. The children are there. The church is still working stronger. The wife is there. You keep on doing it. This should be the best time to do the to show that loyalty, to show that respect, to show that love, to say yes. If that even when that is not around, I will continue to keep the legacy. Keeping the legacy is not saying with your mouth. It's acting on it. It's working on it. I'm saying to you now, whatever you're doing now, it means you did not love Prophet Tisha from your heart. If you are loving from your heart, you will love the wife, you will love the children, you will love this church and want to see that church growing. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button as a way to support the channel. We are grateful for all your efforts.